A lot of products like this one are manufactured from rubber, plastic, or polyurethane. Which one depends on the desired properties of the final product. One variable that determines the product's properties comes down to hardness, measured in durometer, which is also an indicator of the product's modulus. The unit of hardness is durometer. Durometer is measured using a durometer gauge. Young's modulus is a measurement of a material's stiffness. A higher durometer indicates a higher modulus and thus a higher stiffness. We typically measure most polyurethane on either the shore A or the shore D scale. A durometer gauge consists of an indenter that's connected to a spring and that reads out on the dial. Generally, if an object feels soft, we'll use the shore A durometer. The modulus of 60 shore A is approximately 750 psi. And if an object feels harder, we'll use the shore D durometer. The modulus of 75 shore D is approximately 60,000 psi. Something like steel, which is very hard, has a much higher modulus. The modulus of steel is several orders of magnitude greater than any urethane at 30 million psi. While we process some urethanes below 68, the majority of our compounds are between 68 and 75 D. On the low end of the scale, a shoe sole is very soft. A shoe sole like this one is about 60 short A, a modulus of 750 PSI. A pencil eraser is also a soft material. At 65 short A, it has a modulus of about 1000 PSI. While still fairly soft, a urethane at 70A would have a modulus of about 1,800 PSI. This is about how soft a car tire would be. Moving up on the scale, 85 Shore A is a medium hardness urethane. The modulus is approximately 5,000 PSI. So looking at a scooter wheel, like this one, the durometer is 85 Shore A. The modulus for this material is about 5,000 PSI. So now, let's look at something a little harder. Say, a wheel on a shopping cart. This is 95A, with a modulus of approximately 10,000 PSI. Now, onto the higher end of the spectrum. If we measure something tough, like the lens on these safety glasses, this comes in at 75 Shore D. That modulus would be about 65,000 PSI. Polyurethane is a great material for abrasion resistance, load-bearing applications, and molding complex shapes. Due to the liquid nature of the raw material, urethanes can be cast in low-pressure tools, offering significant cost savings over injection molded components.